Now that you know how to get unlimited My Vegas chips, unlimited My Vegas loyalty points, and how to redeem your My Vegas rewards, there's only one question left. When should you redeem your My Vegas rewards? Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hello my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. Now for today's video, we're going to discuss a very specific aspect of your Vegas vacation planning, namely, when to get your comps from my Vegas slots. Now there are a few intricacies to consider regarding most my Vegas rewards. First is the terms and conditions. More often than not, the TNCs will state that a reward must be used within 30 days of redemption, meaning that after you've obtained this reward, you only have 30 days to actually use it. The real trick to that is figuring out what constitutes using a reward, because some rewards can be reserved past the 30 day cutoff, and others have specific cutoff dates. The rest of this video is going to break down rewards into a few categories to try and simplify when you should use your rewards. I have a full tutorial on redeeming rewards linked in the card to the upper right hand corner of the screen if you need it. Until then, let's press on and learn about room bookings. Room rewards typically state that they must be used within 30 days but unlike other rewards, this just means booking. So as long as you book a stay within the first 30 days of redeeming your reward, you're okay. But does that mean you can only book a room 30 days away from your stay? No, once you begin the redemption process of a comp night, you'll be presented with a calendar. This calendar allows you to book dates up to six months out, or more in some cases. So if you redeem a two night stay at Park MGM on the 1st of November, you can schedule your actual stay out as far as April or May. If you'd like a tutorial on redeeming room rewards, the card above can be your guide. Tickets are very similar to room rewards, though I found you don't always need to book them quite so far out, at least not as a solo traveler. Show tickets also have to be booked within 30 days, so it's best to book them straight away after redeeming the reward. The calendars for shows often go out a few months. I'd recommend at least 8 weeks prior to the show you want to attend. Also, be sure to check the hotel's website to verify show dates and times. Some shows and events only occur on certain days, and you wouldn't want to redeem a reward that you can't book. And for every other type of reward, the 30 day rule applies. Most of these rewards won't be any good to you if you purchase them a few months out, as they expire by a certain date. For example, a Wolfgang Puck food reward purchased in October for a November trip may not be good if your reward expires on November 12th and your trip is on the 21st. Always make sure that you check the expiration date of a reward that you can't formally plan, like a food credit, buffet, or free play. These rewards often need to be turned into the MLife desk and are usually either loaded on your MLife card or printed and given to you in the form of a voucher, kind of like an old school comp from the casino floor. My rule of thumb is to get these about three or four weeks away from the trip, but if it's a rare reward and the expiration date is after my booking, I'll redeem the reward right away. In short, Spinners and Sharks, rooms and shows are best redeemed right away so you can book these as quickly as you can. That confirms that you'll have the best pick of rooms and seats. And any other rewards, redeem those within about a month of your trip to ensure that they don't expire before you arrive. That about wraps it up for today's video. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to hear from me again. Until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands and happy spinning.